To draw this circular branch, select the circular routing command. Then select the type of network and the profile size. Then right click and choose the option with register. In the dialog box, specify the direction of flow, the type of connection, flexible or rigid, and the type of insertion of the register, here with one point. Then choose the register, specify its dimensions, and click OK. Click to indicate the center of the register and click a second time to indicate the positioning. Place the arrows. The first click indicates the distance between the arrow and the register and the subsequent clicks add the arrows. Once the arrows are in position, confirm and draw the connection. Right-click to change to rigid and draw the next path. Then right-click to choose connection. You're going to connect the circular duct onto the rectangular duct. Select the rectangular duct. The connection appears. The operation is complete. To draw this circular branch, select the circular routing command. Then select the type of network and the profile size. Then right click and choose the option with register. In the dialog box, specify the direction of flow, the type of connection, flexible or rigid, and the type of insertion of the register, here centered between two points to position register in the center. Then choose the register, specify its dimensions and click OK. Click to indicate the two points the register will be positioned between. Click to indicate the direction. Then position the arrows, confirm and draw the flexible conduit. Now right click and select switch to rigid and draw a rigid conduit. Right click to call the connection option and choose the circular duct to circular duct connection. But specify 45 degrees instead of 90 degrees. Then select the duct to connect to and click to indicate the direction of the connection. The command draws the connection and the elbow and the operation is complete. To draw this circular branch, select the circular drawing command. Then select the type of network and the profile size. Now right click to select the connection option. Instead of a tapping connection, select T and choose the appropriate T connection. Select the duct to connect to and then click to indicate the direction. T appears. Right click and select register at the end of network. Choose this type of register. Then click to indicate the distance point of the first arrow and position the other arrows. Confirm and the command is over. Now you can call the command pick up on T. Select the T and specify the profile size of the new conduit in the dialog box. Right click and select register at the end of network. Insert the arrows, confirm and the command is over. One last branch, select the circular drawing command, then select the type of network and the profile size. Right click to select the connection option, this time choose a tapping connection with a connection from above angled 45 degrees. Select the duct to connect to, then click to specify a second and third point. Here, right click and select register at the end of network. Choose the direction of flow and the type of register. Insert the dimension of the register, the dimension K, and click OK. Now position the arrows. Click on the first point and place the arrows. Confirm and the command is complete.
To add equipment or insulation to an existing duct, we are going to use the toolbar related to the duct. For this duct, use the rectangular duct toolbar. Right click to call it. Now you can use the register command, select square or rectangular register. Specify the register's dimensions, click OK, and select the duct. Click a first point to indicate the distance between the register and the arrows, then each subsequent click will draw a new arrow. Click to confirm, and the command is over. For the damper, you can find the register command in the rectangular duct toolbar. Select the duct, and the damper will appear. The command is over. To create a valve, or circular duct, such as this one, call the circular duct toolbar. In this toolbar, you can find the valve command for circular duct. The valve is normally open. Indicate the positioning of the device with a click. The command is now over. To add flocking or insulation, use the insulation command from the circular duct toolbar. Click to indicate a first point, then a second point. Specify the thickness of the insulation and the command is over. Applying flocking can be done in two ways. One piece of flocking that indicates the whole section is insulated, like this. Or by precisely indicating where the flocking starts. Use the same command, but with the option right. Press D and click to specify two points where the insulation starts. Click the third point and insert the thickness. Now the insulation is accurate on the side you specified.